I know your own article, NFL schedule is growing even more unfair, and part of that's probably driven by TV, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think the main driver really is TV at this point. You know, it was one thing when everybody, broadly speaking, was dealing with the same schedule. You know, there was games on Sunday, and then every now and again, you would have to deal with a Monday night football game, and that was it. That was the... That was all you had to contend with. Now you've got Thursday games that have been obviously there for a while, and that's throwing everything into chaos. The international games means you've got to juggle the bye weeks. Um, and now we're talking about these Netflix games on Christmas, which is a Wednesday, which is basically not quite unprecedented, but previously the game, the NFL has really only put games on a Wednesday in case of you know weather emergencies when there was no other alternative and they just had to get a game played. Now they're doing it simply because Netflix dangled enough money in front of them. Um, and all of these things form this just incredible house of cards that the NFL has to fit into one schedule. And there's just no way of doing that and having it not be a competitive advantage or disadvantage to some teams. So as long as everybody right now is still focused on, you know, quote unquote, strength of schedule and is looking at, you know, how good were the teams last year? How good are your opponents this year? They're sort of able to to sail this stuff through under the radar, but the real um, disparity is coming in rest days and travel distance to try and accommodate, you know, all of these different games and different days. And I think that's where the schedule is getting a little bit out of control and will probably continue to until teams start to really push back on that. 